all right <laughs> it's a little bit nuts but I am starting to optimize my personal website for Bing in my discussions with uh, Bing AI chat and I have gone to bing.com slash webmasters and it's got this profoundly aggressive approach here on uh, importing from uh, Google Search Console so let's do that see you can either do it uh, manually or import it from Search Console so I'll go ahead and import and uh, they'll only import verified sites blah 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 so we continue and I choose which of my accounts I use and it will allow Bing to search for your verified sites make sure you trust Bing allow and uh, there's there's all my websites that I maintain for experimental SEO purposes I will import them all Hmm. Adding site information. And I just told Bing I'm logging into it now. I'm actually in conversation with Bing as we go here. Uh, site addition uh, unsuccessful. We're not able to fetch your data try again give it another chance Bing tells me great I hope you find it useful and easy to use let me know if you have any questions or feedback about Bing webmaster tools and I am on question 10 of 15 so whereas it started out with a five question limit I am up to a 15 question limit so uh, I'm working through with it how to get it to see all the pages uh, on my main site and if this uh, fails I will cancel out and just add uh, my site URL manually it is HTTPS colon slash slash M-I-K-E-L-E-L-E-V dot I-N my name is my website add you just put the dot before the last two letters of my name and that's my website <laughs> this might be a momentary issue please try again or try back later let me put a trailing slash after it m-i-k-e-l-e-v dot i-n it's all correct the secure protocol I'll tell Bing I'm having this problem if it doesn't add it now. Hmm, interesting. So let's go see what the menu options are. Bing tools, places for business, advertising for partners. I don't see anything else. Where is it supposed to just let you see your sites? Let's go places for business. See if it's a different actual site. Yeah, see Bing places. That's a different actual site and it opened a new tab. We're just trying to get things to import directly here. Huh. Let's see if it will take a uh, different site. Pipulate.com. Add. Oh, site already added. So there's some site added, some sites added. Like lev.in. 
Oh, site already added. Okay, so it's just a navigation issue at this point. Webmaster Tools, Microsoft Bing, the logo, one of these other ones on navigation. Now, see that opens a new tab as well. And this, yeah, they all open new tabs. And you can see that because of these little icons. That sort of indicates it. Bing Tools is not a link. So maybe I just try going to the base URL again and see if it shows me something different. And it does. It just didn't let me get away. It didn't give me a way to get to it. Ah, so all there they all are. All right, all right. So I go here. And uh, site performance, home. Site performance, URL inspection, site explorer. All right, so there is really no data in uh, Bing Webmaster Tools for my sites. I had been doing a lot of my experiments uh, Google side, and it serves me right. The big innovation now is uh, Bing side, and I'm caught having to configure things in Bing Webmaster Tools. So better late than never. Uh, here I am uh, taking Bing's advice to do that. And I'm telling it I just added my sites and it tells me to check back in 48 hours. I should probably do this on the screen there with uh, the browser so you can see my interaction with Bing but it is now saying okay that sounds good it may take some time for Bing to crawl and index your sites in the meantime you can explore some of the other features of Bing Webmaster Tools such as URL inspection, site scan, keyword research, etc. You can also learn about SEO best practices from the Help Center and the Webmaster Academy and I am also up to question 11 of 15 by the way. So this is a first for me. Uh, yeah. All right, so I wrap this video up here. It makes the point.